I've got a fantastic piece uh, lined up for you today um, here at MTD CNC. I'm with Chloe and we're actually standing outside HIFOR, which is a company which is part of the engineering technology group. Um, I'm going to go inside shortly and meet up with Mark Colville and, and step through all the processes, the important aspects of fixturing, bespoke fixturing, how it all happens here um, and what are the key areas and the important factors in making a successful fixture. But before we do that, I'm going to talk to Chloe here about um, Give us an overview of what they do here, because obviously from your experience at ETG, you know them well. Yeah, so HIFO isn't just a work holding company, they are so much more than that. Bespoke work holding, off the shelf work holding, tooling, everything that you could imagine from a work holding company, they do it. And it's not just they sell you something, for, they do the design aspect, the application aspect. And the good thing about HIFO is they don't just sell it you, not just a one stop shop. Well, it is a one-stop shop, but they lead you all the way. And if you need any help, their service team is second to none. And I think that's, that is why these customers keep coming back and HIFOR is such a rep reputable company. Because you did part of your apprenticeship. You spent some time here actually working. What were you doing on the machines? Were you making the fixtures, designing? How, how, what was part of what you did? Yeah, so obviously they have got a sector where they have um, milling machines in there and they're doing processes, they're making products. They're not just doing work holding, they're doing application work for customers. And what we were doing is, at the beginning, we were working on the manual mills and lathes, carrying on from my apprenticeship. And this is the best way to learn because they've got skilled people who have been here for decades. And the love they have for this company is just amazing. And to learn off the back of them is the best way to best way to upskill yourself really. So Mark, we're going to split this conversation into four areas uh, when it comes to what you do here at High 4 and how you go about creating the best fixturing solution. First is the consultation, second is, is the design, then there's the manufacturing and then there's the, the after sales support. The consultation process, walk me through how that works and what are the important areas of that to satisfy the need of the client? The consultation process is really about understanding exactly what the customer's requirements are. Um, and so from that, it really starts with a customer interview. We'll sit down with the customer and look at, first of all, what is the part that they want to, um, to, to hold, to clamp? Uh, what machine is that going onto? Uh, what are the, what are the uh, table sizes of that machine? Uh, pallet sizes? Full understanding of what the customer customer's after. Um, and I suppose that comes down to the volumes as well of the part they want to produce. Yes, so how so many you can fit on the plate? Is these are all the areas of, of real importance? Yeah, it's, it's a full understanding of it's a customer requirement really. That if we know what the customer wants, we can then design that pallet, that uh, work holding, to fit that requirement. So it is a, it's a full interview that we'll do with the customer to understand what those requirements are. Because the things that, that strike me are things like the security of the part, how you're holding the part, so that when you're hitting, when you're hitting it, when you're machining, it's not going to move. Accessibility to all the faces. These are where your skills come in as, as engineers here, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. And that's all part of the, the discussion we'll have with them. So what, what is the part? What material is it? What are the forces that are going to be applied to it when it's being, when it's being done? Do we need, are they looking for hydraulic fixtures? Are they going to be using robots? Uh, for loading and unloading. Uh, all these sort of questions are then fed into the, the funnel, if you like, before we go to the next level. Okay, so the next area then is design. How do you go about doing that here? What, what, what's, what's the model? Uh, we've got a team of designers in-house. Uh, from the information that I'll pick from the customer's interview, we'll then take that back to the designers. Uh, we have a, an inquiry log that everything that that's comes through is, is logged down. And when we've ticked all the boxes in that, we then talk to the designers. Uh, so I'll take that information into the guys upstairs. They'll sit down, they'll do it all, model it all out on a, a 3D CAD CAM system. And then from there, we produce a model, which we can go back to the customer and discuss again. So again, we keep going back to re customer requirements all the way through the system. So we can hear the spindles going in the background. I mean, this is the heart of making fixtures, isn't it? The fact that you, 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 you've got to manufacture them and that's what you're doing here. Yeah, we do, we do it all. We do it from start to finish. You say the consultation, um, the design, and now the manufacture, which we do in-house, as you can see. And how many spindles have you got in here? I mean, we can hear a machining centre going, but have you got turning capability as well, grinding, all of those? Yeah, the full, the full, the full Monty, as they say. Yeah, we've got uh, the Quasar machines you can see behind us at the milling. Um, we've got the lathes, and in the other room, we've got the grinding machine. So it's, 
but as well, walking around with you earlier, you've got some older machines, and they're, they're not just here because you can't afford to replace them. They're here because they serve a purpose, don't they? Because they do what we need them to do. They, they're proven out, they're, they're accurate, they do exactly what we need them to do. Um, and we're not going to replace them just because they're old. Yeah. yeah. And you do the rework in here as well then. So I, I suppose one advantage could be if you're making a new fixture and you have to make modifications, you can bring it straight back in and, and, and be straight hands on with it. Well, there's, yeah, there's a couple of examples of that where it may be that the customer's requirements change. So, you know, they may modify their part that they're producing. So then we will work with them to modify the, uh, the fixture. Mm. So, and that rework will take place here again. So the fixture will come back maybe some redesign work on it but then it'll come back in here and it'll be modified and then back out to the customer. So of course one of the, the key things is, is, is making is getting the project to site and making sure the customer's happy with the after sales support. Um, how does that work here then Mark? Well the, the key to everything is the relationship with that customer and that cust the relationship carries on beyond the delivery so we continue to work with them we continue to make sure that that uh, that fixture is, is doing what it's, what it's supposed to do. If there's any tweaks to it that need doing, we'll, we'll work with them to make those tweaks. And as I said before, you know, if, if at any time their parts change, we'll sit down with them and, and look at how we have to redesign the fixture um, to, to, with that. for them to carry on, yeah. And your role here then, Mark, now at Hi4, yep. what do you do? Uh, so I'm product manager um, for Hi4. So my, I'm really the customer liaison. I'm the one that's in between what we do here and the customer. So the information that I bring back is the information that will go to the design team, that will go to the manufacturing, that will go to the after sales. So it's really... Um, Piecing like, it all together. Yeah, the face, the face of hi yeah. <laughs> and, and the kind of customers that you um, you deal with here, just to give our audience uh, uh, an idea of the size, are we talking about small businesses? Are we talking about large blue chip companies? Where's the... Uh, balance in, in who you're working with? We have got customers who are blue chip companies in automotive, we've got customers in aerospace, we've got small customers, local customers, any size customers that, that needs fixturing then we'll be able to supply it um, and we will deal with them and they'll get the same service no matter who they are. Why do you think people do use them? What, what are they offering here beyond their services but within those that is so good? I think they look, if I went into hi with a part and said can you make that, they can, anyone can go yeah we can make that go away but they actually work together so closely with the customers. Do you like it this way? Do you like it that way? Well this would be the best way to do it to save you money, to save you cycle time, to do everything like that. They think of every single aspect and not just getting the part out of the machine they think of everything that they can possibly and think I suppose of. that comes down to the guys they've got here the the time served engineers the that time have been served here for... engineers the experience that they have there's not just one way that you can do something and high four know that there's obviously three or four different ways one might be the quickest one might be the cheapest one might be the easiest but you need to decide with that customer what do they want a quick cycle time do they want to save money because some people don't want to save money they want to make the best part but another customer might want to do it in 30 seconds when someone else is doing it in 40 seconds and that's the that's the relationship that high have with these customers